Hello, this is June Universe at Ninja Intuitive. Three minutes blind quickies. Thank you for connecting me, allowing me to be in your experience at this time of your day, being part of co creative energy of oneness. This is June Universe. So, for live listeners, yay, we are to have the full moon soon. And this is the summer solstice and celebration of summer. And today I would like to share this energy of the full moon and the summer. As love is all you need, summertime. Isn't this so true? Love is what we all need. Starting from self love, and then now is the time to share the love for others, each other, s under the sun, outdoor, connecting to the love of nature, love of、uh, beautiful. Sky and the moon and the sunlight and the air. This is the perfect time season to connect with the light hearted footwork, to be in part of togetherness in any kind that you feel resonate to be part of. No need to be. Know each other for details, and you know, just、uh, feeling resonating to being part of the crowd. That's what the point we are sharing love and feeding love and for each other among one another. So, this is the season to go out and explore newness, also based on. Your own wishes and willingness and intentional creation. If you are unfamiliar with this intentional creation concept, then just think of would it be nice to be in certain situation or a certain environment or surrounded by certain. Element as a dream. So it's a free will to feel the feel of being in that place as、uh, your heart is so excited and thrills, and you know, your smile is coming out from your heart, and then your cheek cannot go down. Because of the energy from inside is pulling your face,、uh, upliftment of the face. No need to do the face lifting, <laughs> or maybe the、uh, at the edge of the eye get more wrinkles. If you are in my age bracket, <laughs> but that kind of excitement and feeling is perfect to. Supported by the energy of summer, sun, the season of sun is really starting here at this full moon in June 2016. So, before starting, let us connect with、uh, ourselves individually, check in. Being where we are, where you are, where we are at this present moment, how we do it is just give our attention from the top of our head and then coming down to your eyes and throat and then the heart and then the tummy and then all the way go down to 
What is getting your attention? Just notice, observe that your head, what are you thinking, and what you want to say or forgot to say, what you're feeding in your heart, what you want to express, or what you're still carrying over from the past yesterday, or last week, or last month, or last year, perhaps. Come on, let that go. You know, so just noticing what, what's in your heart or the excitement for tomorrow or today's, and you know, the tummy area, what your feeling and concerns, or excitement is happening. Or maybe physical body is getting your attention. It's like my body is still getting,、um, after some burn, itchiness on my knee. That's what I'm noticing. So I would like you to use your awareness just to give in to yourself in a many layer difference. Just to allow that to come and then notice by your notice of you. Observer, you to just no judgment, just observe to capture where you are at this present moment, okay? And then choose the feeding word, the mood now resonating to you. One word, I feel one word, I feel lovely, lovely, loving. I feel such a love. Right now, in many different levels. How about you? So, you can choose any feeling, be honest to yourself, no need to impress to other people or me, or no need to resonate to my feeling because, you know, difference is the beauty. We are different, and that is perfect. So, just be sure that to be honest to your true voice and allow your noticer to notice the authentic you're feeling at this current present moment. If you're ex having exciting things in the Sunday or today, and then that must be the core of it, or maybe if you have challenging things, and that could be the one. That you're still aligned to it. So just notice and write it down. Pen and paper. So my pen, where is my pen? And write it down. So get your pen and paper and write it down. Highly recommend to do that. Okay, here we go. I feel loving. All right, and then I'd like you to take a、um, moment to what kind of feeling you'd like to have at the end of this together moment for the after 36 minutes when we say goodbye and happy full moon on this podcast. I would like you to choose the one word, the feeling that you'd like to resonate at the end of this today's gathering. I would like to resonate with gratitude. Gratitude. I like to fully feel in the great gratitude, grateful for, for things. Fully. In my experience, how about you? So, I want you to write it down the word, the feeling, grateful for. That's for me. So, you pick your own feeling that you like to have, like exciting or loving or kind or, you know, the feeling. To embody the feeling using this together oneness energy that we co create for one another. All right, so then let us take a long deep breath together, counting three, intaking all the air and energy around you, around us, from nose, 
slowly and then hold it in our body as much as、uh, we can, as long as we can, and slowly let that out from the mouth with the no longer serving memories, energies, and whatever that no longer serving us. All right. So let's do that. Counting three from the nose. One now. Two. Three. Hold it. Hold it. Ready. One more time. Counting three from the nose. One now. Two. Three. Hold it. <laughs> Now with the silence, go. Thank you. If you're joining from a couple minutes, and <laughs> we've been very quiet,、uh, we are doing the intentional breathing exercise to be in current here now in our physical body, all aligned in here now at this present moment. So thank you. For participate in this, and just simply know that I know you are joining me, listening my voice, and there is other listeners listening. Even this is an archive listener, because most of the case it's、uh, archives. But at this present moment, it's a connecting time, so this oneness is available when you connect. This together energy, any time in your here now moment. Everything is happening here now. At this present moment, past, present, and future. So, this moment when you are listening and connecting is the moment of creation. Of yours and with us together. So, utilize this together energy to our own individual creation. Being part of this unity is something that human gift that we can utilize consciously if we want to. So it's up to us to use it or not. So why not use it to make something better, bringing into our own experience and help one another to make the things better for each other at the same time. So that's the beauty of the universal oneness, that energy return system that we went where we send out a good thought and energy, and it will come back to us as an energy return system. That's how、uh, universal oneness works. So, embodying this chosen feeding for this end of the togetherness today. Is the conscious work like when you're listening what I'm sharing here, and I would like you to embody the feeling that you like to leave today at the end. So, what I would like to share here is that 
The channeling energy of this full moon and the summer is something is shifting in a big way that to me is a preparation stage is taking into the next phase. And this is perfect to utilize this active going sun energy to hop out. And move your body and follow your action ideal. Not much thinking about it, but just allow our body to follow the feel, the feeling. So, in order to do so, we really want to know what kind of feeling we want to feel. Because, and then following that feel, Means the exact alignment that we experience in this body, like when we feel good and then allow the body to follow that feeling, means really like experiencing that good feeling in physically, right? Because good feeling can be experienced in, in the mental, you know, intellectual level or like a feeling level and, you know, ideal level. And what I am suggesting here is this is the perfect season to make that part align to the physical action, to experiencing in the physical way. Because we are not our only our body, but we are spirit, we are soul, like the souls and spirit experiencing in this body as a human as a person so it's like all connected we are very complex as a human as a person and uh, that part as long as we are in the physical body we want to use that physical to experience what we would like to experience right not in a virtual reality way. That can be that can be possible, but why not uh, utilizing the whole being as a person to experience? As long as we are in this, a, this experience, a personal experience as a person. <laughs> well, the definition of a personal is kind of doubtful from one angle to look at the human life, but we are all one, connected. But just, the, you know, the individual, like in this per person, per body, to experiencing as a personal journey. And then there's a preference that makes our heart excited based on the love, because love is all you need. And so self-love is a good place to start. So embracing the loving part of yourself. So I'd like you to noticing what part of you you love yourself. You know, affirming that part, loving part of yourself and embracing it. You know, no one is watching it. I'm not listening. I am talking. I'm sharing. But I would like you to notice what part of you is really loving and allow yourself to love the part no matter what other people said that's nonsense you know that's their thing that's their issue you love your part you know so that is the most precious things that uh, each of us can affirm and like a candle light, ignite that love and then connect to your heart and allow yourself to open to that loving part, to heart open and the posture, your back is going to be a little straight and then it feels like a spirit is becoming a little taller when we allow ourselves love in our heart and then fully align to your physical body, how your posture changes, 
How about your shoulders? How about your way of looking at the mirror? If you have a mirror in front of you, or you can get one. And maybe you want to take a picture of yourself. To remembering that loving self part of you is holding you as a candle light inside of a heart. And then ready to share the candle light with others. Maybe under the sun, the candle light is not gonna, not gonna visible as you see it in the nighttime. But it's there. And then it's not gonna be disappear when you share with others. It become more brighter. Under the sun, unable to see it. But when the sun goes down, in the night time, the moon comes up. We share the all the light, loving heart together as the brightest human life and community of oneness. That soul and the heart and the spirit, naked in our body, invis invisible but visible. When we connect our hands together, when we hug each other, when we care each other, the caring with one word is sometimes enough to make someone's day happier. Make the candle light up in the morning. So, just the small things that. Allow a candle light up and noticing that can be shallow. No need to blow out, blow away for others and then yourself. But sometimes it gets challenging and then it's easy to get to turn that off. But hey, we have a power to ignite. It doesn't need to be. A big fire to ignite, just a small, tiny, teeny, loving thought. If, if the if you have an、um, animals near you, like a dog or cat, just、uh, noticing that loving heart of them, and then connect with the love, and just、uh, chanting the word love. Love, love, three times, and then do that for each day. Every time you bumped into that cat or dog, and then just chant the love, love, I love you. You know that heals ourselves. So the small things would do. A big shift, and see how the magic happens with the power of love under the summer time. This is June Universe Ninja Intuitive at three minutes intuitive blind reading quickies. I would like to give a reading tonight today. For a love and relationship special, to the four different request. The first request I have here is the symbol of star. Let me put the timer here for the three minutes reading. Okay, here we go. And the stars is the symbol. Then the relationship. Okay. By the way, you can also request your blind reading going to www. that future forecaster. dot com. www. that future forecaster. dot com. This is the free reading that I provide for this community needs. And you can submit your request without telling your name, your topic, or anything. Just assign the symbol, and then select the category of the 
the reading request that you belong to and then the, the submit the form and then I will use the three minutes here and then share as a blind reading so that you can get the insight um, under your symbol you assigned and get the insight from me and if it's resonate take it if it's not resonating please do not take it because you have a power to choose it I'm providing as a resource so uh, if it works use it under your responsibility and um, it it gives an a different view to take a look and um, based on that new view you may get the new idea to enhance your choices later so that's what the, all the the purpose of doing this community reading for free and also my service is available for a one hour free reading by phone worldwide and currently I'm taking a very small number of an appointment so uh, if you're interested in to have my uh, free reading service please uh, contact me at juneuniverse at uh, futureforecaster.com or go into the website www.thatfutureforecaster.com and submit the form also and see how we can how I can serve your needs okay so let me do this reading for the, the star relationship okay star relationship okay this relationship star I have a sense that uh, there is a possibility and potential in a promising way at this point. And before I was unsure about it, there was an uh, um, resonance and uh, possibility and hope and creative ideas and currently seems to be coming under the under the light to see more from uh, different angles and to get to know the possibility of the connectedness of each individuals um, as a couple, I I feel this couple is uh, so independent individually and somewhat um, difference makes the variety and together variety makes the couple more as in uh, something significant as in a couple and it's very noticeable energy that to other people are like wow you guys are something it's very intense energy um in the future time that it would be nice to notice that uh privacy private part that sensitive part of each other and to respect that because without knowing that area it's hard to respect each other so getting to know finding each other's sensitivity would be a good for a future progress to grow this love from now on I have a sense that there is an interest for both of us and uh, potential and uh, a little bit of twist but uh, that's a natural way to grow as a love and uh, to adjusting some ideas or belief that based on the fact knowing the fact gradually and there is a gap between knowing the fact and to make it as a solid uh, foundation for a couple to be in a deep relationship definitely there is an a soul connection and um and then something really balanced about this difference between both of you have. I got the sense that September, October would be a, another next phase to make that to uh, change if you want to. So now is the time to get into know what we know at this point and to find out the sensitive area. 
for getting into the next stage smooth as on a more solid loving couple. Good luck. I'm sending lots of love and healing for your loving creation. This is the star, and I'm moving to the next. Okay. Next. Next target is a candle. Candle relationship. Okay. I got the sense that、um, this relationship is kind of like a stop mode for the last、uh, several months, and、uh, something is not allowing to proceed this. Connections and love that you have,、um, in the way of the corner of this、uh, movement, is stopping to go to the next level. I'm having the sense that the door was open, and then was able to get into the next phase, and then all of a sudden, kind of not hesitation, but it's like a total. No danger at this point.、Uh, that's what I am sensing for、um, right now. And then it can be opening, but narrow. It's more of like a business connection type of、uh, contact instead of、uh, love and personal relationship. So you may want to redirect your attention towards the.、Um, Businessy or like business-oriented connection possibility to re-establishing that、uh, relationship between you.、Um, I'm having the sense that after September, it's gonna be seeing that solution. Like you, as a female part of the partnership, it's gonna change. Like shift. The phase of individuality, and then see how it resonates to that partner, because that seems to be having a more large space to see the connection between you. Before was more narrow casted, and、uh, the summer and your work make you grow individually. And that will make this relationship balance that you felt before is no longer the similar. That's what I'm sensing. That doesn't mean that the relationship is dead or stop or anything. Just a matter of individual growth, and、uh, something is not in align at this present moment. And、um, After September, it's going to be totally your choice to choose to reopen this relationship based on the,、uh, coming into the businessy kind of、uh, topic to bring it into which direction.、Um, I feel definitely a connection between you, but that. Relationship can be transformed into many different type of、uh, relationship. It doesn't need to be the intimate love and relationship, like exclusively romantic involving love. So it's up to you. And、um, if you want to bring that into that arena, and then I highly recommend you to find a way to relate outside of the love intimacy. For a little while from now on, and towards September, okay. I'm sending lots of love and healing. This is the、uh, candle light, the love and relationship. Okay, so the next reading target is Egyptian. Egyptian walk like Egyptian. The relationship. Let me sip my drink. Okay, Egyptian. Okay, I get the sense that、uh, 
two of you having a very good alignment that respect each other well and knows each other kind of nicely and uh, no worry for uh, what others are doing but just know that when to connect and when to be tender and when to be individual with the respect very mature relationship i am sensing here um before was unsure about that um safe space to talk to and connect to and what would be the uh physically connected in a comfortable zone but it will improve that to find in each other's comfort zone and together zone and uh, respectful zone and and then really like ideal mature couple and support one another also and i see a prayerfulness and uh, total resonance and the trust and allowing be self for one another in a very mature way that everybody get admired um so i encourage to proceed with the relationship make it deeper it has been especially for the next three months even there is a difficulty in the long distance or hesitation to talk about um it's important to let that things allow instead of creating and to make it happen you know that's a pushing energy instead of pull in i encourage to pull in and play together and then allow individual self to express and enjoy that part of each other with no worries for um for a next uh phase from now on i am sensing the female side is totally like being herself and then the male is also and it's definitely um intense energy combination that i'm seeing it but it's so loving together and everybody like to know the secret of how you keep glued together with the difference and uh, the sameness in in a unique way um i got the number december 11 not december november 11 11 11 could be uh something special for this relationship uh like to make it as a new phase or some some someone is come visit or the other is moving the places or something like that is happening so uh use that timing wisely to shift as the way you want to create okay so this is the uh egyptian love and relationship i'm sending lots of love and love and love to you a creation thanks for your request okay the another one is the last one that red wine red wine okay red wine relationship Okay, something is upside down at this point and uh it would be nice to make it to back into the um original shape as um from the upside down situation because the the opposite side seems to be uh not serving the purpose well of this relationship and if if seems to be this in a hard way to find in this flipping over again to the uh the, the 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 position it's supposed to be then then ask some help to get that make it straight i have a sense that that is really needing some other help from just two of you your experience something need to needing to be happened to flipping over which some something that you 
and both of you cannot hands on to this situation um and but there is a um, possibility to learn from this current situation uh, in the future time it can be changing it but in the sense that i feel your sense of looking at this opportunity can be changing because everybody's changing it so be open to that to take this current event as something good for you and for him to experience it noticing this feeling and find a way to communicate with this current feeling honestly if you can i'm having a sense that uh, telephone and uh, messages both way would be good but messages can be uh too strong so the the talk might be ideal if you can generate it um to express what you feel no matter how the situation is happening or it's it, that you do your part and let the universe take care of it kind of you know that stands to dance with this situation for um until august for the summer time might be a uh, good to make you feel good to do you you doing your part like a grounding part and then let the universe take care of it knowing that what you want to experience as an uh, your feeling involved in the situations with him you know just the feeling that you are in the perfect love and what kind of love and relationship you want to embody in that true voice without any um related uh, element around the partner partner candidate currently you are seeing so from there to embody and to express in the feeling would be a good uh, good uh, process for this summer so i'm sending a lots of love and healing for this relationship red wine thank you for your request this is june universe at ninja intuitive three minutes blind quickie so how is your embodiment of the feeling that you chose for this end of today's gathering so what what feeling i chose was a uh, gratitude grateful for yes i am so grateful for to be able to provide intuitive insight at this community of energy of oneness thank you for allowing me to be in your experience and providing intuitive insight you can also request your own intuitive reading for free anonymously quickly at www.thatfuturefocaster.com www.thatfuturefocaster.com look forward to serving your needs so love is all you need and i would like you to send the love to this reading requesters as if they experience in the perfect love in their lives and it coming back to you to your heart as love so let us take a long deep breath together counting three from the nose now one two three Release it and send the love from your heart to this one. Mm. Yes. Happy full moon and thank you for being part of co creative. oneness I see you next time until then oh my love and healing to you bye